What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We got some pretty hot stuff happening with AMC, especially for all this drama stuff between Citadel, Robin Hood, King Griffin, all this kind of stuff. But let's focus on what's going on with the price and also the current state of AMC. Obviously, by the time you watch this video, the price would be tremendously different, okay? The price wouldn't really stay like this anymore. We're seeing massive fluctuations and huge volatility for AMC. But if you check out this volume on a daily basis, you clearly see AMC's volume suddenly went up by two to three times yesterday. And it was for good reason, too. I think some big investors out there suddenly started placing in massive bulk orders. For example, in this volume stick, it was 67 during that hour. And the volume did make it go up to roughly 50 cents. And then you got this volume, which is very modest at 157,000. Nothing really much to see, but the price from, from 34.50 all the way up to 36.70. We're looking at a gain of more than $2 on volume that's exactly the same as the other ones. This indicates that some big hedge funds out there suddenly placed in a huge buy order the moment when the volume went down, which usually has a massive effect. And afterwards, maybe retail and also a combination of several other hedge funds saw something interesting at AMC, thus placing their own massive order. And the volume was totaled at 1 million, 10x higher than the other ones, which send the stock all the way to 41.50 before driving back down to roughly 38. And now it's stabilizing at 38-ish. So it's really interesting to see AMC doing things like this. And there's a few things that are you know, making the catalyst go. For example, AMC has paid back $35 million of their most expensive debt. 15% interest rate is way too high because it's going to save them more than $5 million in interest costs annually. It's pretty good. And they're slowly paying off their debt. Not only that, they don't really owe Silver Lake, you know, guys anymore. They used to owe like Silver Lake, like $500, $600 million. They don't have to do that anymore because they, you know, turned those contracts to actual shares because amc was doing really well so that debt is gone they got two billion dollars in the bank amc is frankly almost impossible to go down and there's a few reasons why first of all hedge funds and big retail guys really like amc they know that the moment it touches 33 dollars, everyone starts buying it and pushes the price up to nearly 40 dollars, and it stays there okay not only that adam Anderson seems to actually care paying off his movie theater debts and they want to start issuing dividends as soon as possible. Overstock stock was a stock that was shorted down to $3 with a lot of synthetics. And then they suddenly issued you know, dividends with cryptocurrency via blockchain, send the price of stock to $120. There's actually lawsuits against that about, hey, what the heck? Okay, suddenly crypto dividends, what? And eventually the court ruled that overstock stock is the winner. So they got by and they won, okay? And it could be seen the same exact thing with AMC. With the synthetics numbering like 10x the amount of the real shares, like 5 billion synthetics, it's not a big surprise if they offer crypto dividends and the stock price goes up. And Adam Aaron has already expressed multiple times on Twitter that he's honestly interested in NFTs, crypto, and stuff like that. I mean, even, okay, if AMC directors and the board guys don't like crypto, remember, if you side with the cryptocurrency guys, you could get even more retail traders into your stock. And Adam Aaron is pulling off some phenomenal moves as CEO. Super impressed here. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. Definitely check out the private Discord server. It's free until November 1st, so cancel any time. Some really amazing trades here. Trade with us, guys, on a live basis. Make some money. Our signals are pretty fire, and see you guys later.